solidarity um, with all immigrants and refugees and asylum seekers, um, but particularly the amazing caravan that is making its way to the U.S. Mexican border um, and to show them that they're not alone. I think it's been a horrifying few weeks. Um, and Trump and his you know, politicians uh, like him have whipped up um, racist fervor. Um, and the fact that they're sending troops to the border, even when they're you know, two months away, I think is really telling. I think they're really sort of carrying out for a fight. I think we have to be on board footing. Um, and I think things like this are a first step um, to go here. All the uh, vitriol and racism and uh, you know, just a manufactured crisis created by the Trump administration that just seems to be like escalating day after day. Obviously, trying to make it a midterm issue, we felt like it was important to, you know, express solidarity for, you know, the, uh, in particular, the, the immigrant caravan. Uh, but you know, again, re uh, reiterating our support for immigrants in, within New York City, and hopefully, you know, this uh, this action kind of echoes out throughout the country, and just you know, again expressing our support for immigrants, you know, being able to come into, uh, you know, our country seeking a better life. Well, this is not only about Trump, it's about the entire system, the militarization, the police harassment. <clears throat> it's more uh, the, about the whole system, but of course, uh, the administration of uh, the Donald Trump make it, made all this situation worse, uh, because he promoted the hate and uh, racism and all the bad stuff we are fighting for hundreds of years.